Well, earlier today, Governor Andrew Cuomo signed a controversial law which will gradually raise the state's minimum wage to $15 an hour. WEMI's Isabel Garcia joins us with details about how this law will be implemented and what that means for our region. Hello, Renata. The new minimum wage increase will be phased in, with more of the drastic hikes happening first in New York City. Governor Andrew Cuomo says that this will not only boost the economy, but also improve New Yorkers' lives. The thanks go to the people in this room. It is the labor movement that built this nation's middle class in the first place, and we're rebuilding the middle class for a new economy today. Governor Cuomo addressing a rally in Manhattan following signing the minimum wage increase. The law gradually raises the minimum wage to $15 in New York City by the end of 2018 and in some prosperous suburbs by the end of 2021. For the remainder of the state, the wage will rise to $12.50 by the end of 2020. If you're a working family, middle class family, how do you afford the increases in college tuition? How do you afford a home? How do you afford property taxes? You can't. We want fairness, we want economic fairness, we want economic justice, and we want it now. In December of last year, the state's minimum wage hit $9 an hour, capping a previous increase plan from 2013. With the newly signed law, the minimum wage will be $9.70 by the end of this year, followed by annual increases of 70 cents. Now, despite the gradual increases, some small business owners like the Hilltop Inn in Elmira say the change will have a lasting impact. It's going to affect everybody across the board. And so while it is phased in at 70 cents, uh, we've just come off three years of phasing in a minimum wage as well. So by the time we hit the 1250, we will be almost at double what it was three years ago. Now, we've reached out to about a dozen local businesses and companies and their response for the $15 minimum wage increase. A number of them say that they wish to remain neutral on the subject. For now, reporting in the control room, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.